Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ravi Singh and I'm going to help you understand great engineering concepts around us. For that, you just need to hit the subscribe button down below. Now we all know that the dynamic pressure is given by half into density into velocity square. And this looks pretty much similar with the term kinetic energy that is half into m into v square. So let us see what is the difference between these two that is the dynamic pressure and the kinetic energy because this is also a confusing term kinetic energy and the dynamic pressure. Now we all know that this kinetic energy is given by half into mass into velocity square and this is given by half into density into velocity square. So when some particle is moving say I am having this particle and when this is moving with say some velocity v and the mass is m then because of this movement of this mass the kinetic energy possessed by this mass is half into mass of this particle into v velocity square and as a result of this kinetic energy or as a result of this velocity this motion the air molecules will hit this particle from opposite direction this direction if this is moving in this direction with velocity v then the air molecules will hit this particle from this direction and because of this hitting of the molecules from this direction there will be a pressure associated and that pressure is nothing but dynamic pressure because of this motion and this dynamic pressure is given by half into the density of the air because it is the air molecule that is hitting this particle because of the motion of this particle. So the density of that air molecule or the density of air multiplied by the velocity. The relative velocity, the velocity actually will be same because if this particle is moving in this direction with some velocity v, then relative to this particle, the air molecules will move in this direction with the same velocity v. That will be faced by this particle as a result of its motion with the velocity v as a result of hitting of air molecules on this particle. Now suppose this discussion that we have made is at the atmospheric pressure that is 1 atm that is at the surface of the earth. Now suppose I am taking this particle to some altitude which is far away from the surface of the earth and there this particle is moving with the same velocity v possessing same mass m. So again the kinetic energy will be half into mass of this particle into v square but now the air which is hitting this particle from this direction because the particle again is moving in this direction. So this air will now again hit this particle from this direction. But due to gain in altitude, now these molecules are basically separated from each other. At this surface of the earth, the molecules are closer. But at away from the surface of the earth at some higher altitude, these molecules are farther apart and due to which small number of molecules are going to hit this particle from this direction because of lesser density of air at higher altitude and as a result of that the dynamic pressure is lower at higher altitude. So with the same kinetic energy we have seen that the dynamic pressures are different at two different altitude. So that is basically the significance of density in the term dynamic pressure but here in case of kinetic energy the mass is there. So it will be same disregarding the altitude. So this is all about this video. Thank you. For more exciting contents about science related stuffs in the form of news, videos or articles, don't forget to like our page Science Talk on Facebook for which the link is given below.